What's going on guys? So it is like 11.30 at night right now, but I had to make this video because Adobe released some really cool stuff today and I've been trying it all night and man, it is just unbelievable. So I really wanted to show you guys. Now, if you're like me, you've been using Photoshop's Adobe Content Aware Fill for a long time. It's been something I've been using for years and it's absolutely amazing what it has been able to do. Well, now we can basically use that same technology with video. Now, we'll have to jump into After Effects in order to do this, so keep in mind, you do need to have After Effects in order to do this project. However, what we're doing in After Effects is not very complicated. So if you're someone who does not know how to use it very much. I mean, I am definitely far from an After Effects master. I think you can figure this out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start things off in Premiere. So in Premiere, I am looking at two clips that I have, two drone clips that were shot with the Mavic Air. And if you look at this clip right here, I am doing really well. I mean, there's this cool shot starting out and then this guy enters my frame on the beach and it completely screws up the shot. So. I want to be able to take that guy and remove him. I mean, wouldn't that be great? And before there was just no good, easy way of doing this. Now the next shot I have is very similar. And again, it looks like the same guys right in here. I don't know what the crap was going on with that, but this guy is back in my shot and very obvious. You know, the, these little people over here aren't that bad, although I could take them out too, but uh, that guy is really ruining that shot. And these are two different completely shots and I'm gonna show you two different ways of handling these uh, that'll make it very easy for you depending on what kind of shot you have. So let's get into this and take a look at the first shot right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this shot and hit replace with After Effects composition. That is gonna open up After Effects and it will ask you to name the file. Now for this, you can name it anything that you want. So I will go call this test five because I'm boring like that. And now I have my shot in After Effects. And if I open this and look at it, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this half resolution so it plays really well with the screen record. And there it is, there's my shot. And there's this annoying person right in here. So in order to do this shot, since I have this guy right in here, I am just going to mask him out and then put content aware fill on that area and that will allow me to take it come out completely. So what I'll do is I'll move over into, actually I'll go to the end. Since he appears from out of frame, I'm gonna go towards the end and I'm going to initiate a mask right in here. So I will go up to my tools, get like an ellipse tool and I will go ahead and draw around this dude right here. And there it is. So I am drawn around this guy and you can see that I am masking this area right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go down here and change my add to none. And that's gonna still keep the mask there, but it's going to show my background right now so I can um, track this because right now he starts or he ends right over here, but he starts off a of frame. So what I'm gonna do is since this is a really easy shot, it's a constant movement. What I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and go to the beginning or at least where he starts coming into frame. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this max to him and try and manually track it since it should be a super easy shot. And then for the other one, we're gonna look at something a little bit cooler. So what I need to do now is allow to track this over time. So what I'm actually going to do is click uh, M for to bring up my mask path and then click on this little time right here which is gonna allow me to animate this over time. So when I click on that, I now have a keyframe point right here at the end. And what I'm gonna do is go towards the beginning, like right where it enters a frame. And I will go ahead and move this mask out to where it is. And you will see, let me get that placement just a little bit better of where it comes in. And you will see that this mask will now move in with this person. Now this is super simple because he was moving at a constant rate. You might have to add a couple more tracking points on yours in order to get it. But yeah, this made it really easy for me to do this. And here I have this frame right here. Now let me show you how easy this is. It's absolutely incredible. So the content aware fill is here. If you do not see it, go up to window and then you'll see content aware fill right in here and you can enable it that way. And then it should show up right in here. Now you have this alpha expansion, which is going to allow you to uh, change. Ooh, one thing I need to do is I need to go change um, my mask right here to subtract because I wanna take away this guy. And there you'll see that this mask is now there and moving away. 
You can expand this box a little bit if you want to. Um, usually 25 to 50 is a good place to be in. I'll go right in the middle. And we're going to fill this. This is an object, so we're gonna select that. We're gonna do it with the entire work area, and we're gonna just click on Generate Fill Layer, and that is going to allow Adobe to do its awesome stuff, and we'll see how this looks when it comes out. So that is it. It has now generated a fill layer, and my person has completely disappeared. And I can actually scroll right through this, and I see it's completely gone, just like that. So I'll play this through, and you can see that there is absolutely no one here. So that shot right there, in literally like two minutes, I've just removed that person from there. I didn't do anything more complicated than drawing a circle on them and uh, basically tracking that over time, and I did that manually, no fancy tracking tools. However, we'll do that for the next clip. So that was it. That was really simple. It is absolutely amazing. Hope you guys worked with that. If, you, if this is a big help for you guys, please hit like and subscribe. I got a bunch of more videos coming up, but yeah, it really helps me out when you guys do that. And you can check out, uh, I just built this computer, this custom PC. So if you wanna check out the video on that build, because it's running this really well right now, and I'm doing some screen capture as well. So let's go ahead and exit that. And we will go back into, we can see that in Premiere right now, it will bring that After Effects file right back in. And we will be able to play it perfectly in Premiere and edit in Premiere the same way I normally do. I don't like using After Effects too much. It's a little intimidating for me. So now let's move on to that second clip. And again, I will rename this because I'm super boring. And we have this composition right here. Now, something that's different here is my person is not really moving in this one. What is moving is my frame because I'm panning up on the drone as I'm doing this. So I'm gonna use a different method and rather than have to manually move my point here, I'm gonna have it automatically track it and see how it does. So what we're gonna do is this time I'll go to the beginning of the frame and just like before, we are going to draw our mass. So again, I'm gonna use the ellipse tool and draw a little mask around this guy and there he is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and change that add to none again so I can see the frame. Now for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the mask and I'm gonna hit track mask. That is gonna bring up this tracking tool and all I can do is hit move forward and that is going to move the mask along with the frame and I might need to make it a little bigger, we'll see. That will move the mask along with the frame and track it for the frame. Now because this guy really isn't moving too much, we're gonna get pretty good about doing this. So anytime you have a frame that's moving but your objects are not, this might be the best way to do it, really easy and simple. All right, so that's it. I now have a mask that is tracked across the frame. I will again change that to subtract. And there my guy is gone. Now again, we're gonna go right to Content Aware Fill right down here. I'm gonna expand this a lot because I actually came really close with that one on the mask. And we're gonna hit Object again, Work Area, and go ahead and click to generate that fill layer. And just like that, Adobe is going to work again and doing all my hard work for me. So just like that, I have a brand new layer that's been completely filled. And look at this, playback, no guy, completely gone, really perfect. Can't tell at all. No one would ever notice that I did anything to this and literally a couple minutes. I did not have to get very advanced into After Effects right here. Save my project back in Premiere, editing the way that I want. If you do like After Effects, then great, good for you. But yep, that's it. So really hope this guy has helped you out a lot and learned a little bit of After Effects in this really cool tool. I would encourage you to check it out on your own. Again, check out some of those other videos, especially the one I just did on my computer. I think you guys are really gonna like the setup and some of the office things that we're doing around here too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up and I'll see you real soon in the next video.